On Tuesday, the 15th of July, our church commemorates the feast day of St. Iulita and St. Kyrikos. The following are some thoughts on their lives and works. Iulita hailed from Iconium in Central Asia Minor and lived during the reign of the Emperor Diocletian. In 296, due to the persecution against the Christians, she fled with her young son Kyrikos to Seleucia near Antioch. However, the Christians were also ill-treated in that place, so she left and went to Tarsus of Cilicia. Now the governor of that city, Alexander, was a brutal man who persecuted Christians. At Tarsus, Iulita was arrested and beaten. Kyrikos, who was still an infant, barely three years old, and was separated from his mother. The governor picked him up and put him in his lap and tried to charm him and talk to him. Nevertheless, Kyrikos would only fix his eyes steadfastly upon his mother, being thrashed before him. With a stammering voice, he called out the name of Christ. Then, moved by the grace of God, despite his infancy, he kicked the belly of the governor as hard as he could and said, I love Christ. This enraged the governor so much that he picked up Kyrikos and dashed him down the steps of the judgment seat. As the child tumbled, he struck his head. And as a result, Kyrikos surrendered his blessed soul to Christ and received a martyr's crown. Meanwhile, his mother was tried with many torments, since the idolaters were unable to persuade her to deny Christ. She was beheaded. Thus, she too received the crown of martyrdom. The joint commemoration of mother and son are celebrated together on the 15th of July.